This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. It is 627. And when it comes to hand sanitizers and soap, do you know the difference? Well, if you say there isn't, there actually is. And we have Cindy Cooper, a professor of biology and pre-med advisor at Truman State University with us this morning to break it down for us. And one of the main things that is different is a key chemical agent that is in one of them and not the other, correct? Yes, that's All right. right. And what is that key chemical agent? The key chemical agent in the antibacterial is triclosan. Okay. And why, why is it, it's been told that a, a new study came out saying that it actually can um, reduce your muscles yes. and weaken Several them. Several studies show that this chemical um, can inhibit muscle contraction in skeletal muscle and heart muscle. And it's also a very stable compound. It does not break down very quickly in the environment. It accumulates in the environment. It can accumulate in organisms, particularly minnows and the uh, aquatic organisms in the streams, it can be very toxic for aquatic life. And it's f not found in all soaps, correct? Right. Uh, you know that there's triclosan present when you see antibacterial. That tells you, and you can see the top, the active ingredient mm -hmm. on the back is triclosan. And this has been phased out, and, and the soap hand washing industry has begun to phase out triclosan. And um, self soap, for example, they're helping you to steer away from antibacterial by encouraging you to wash away bacteria. Okay. The difference is that uh, with hand soap, you wash away germs. With the hand sanitizer, you kill the germs on contact. Right. With the hand washing, you remove germs. With sanitizers, you kill them with, with alcohol, with ethanol. Okay. So which do you recommend? Do you, I mean, obviously you recommend they both. both wash your role. hands, of course. They but both have a role before okay. eating and, um, and before uh, shaking hands with people. Wash your hands after using the bathroom. Wash your hands if you're on the go, if you're in the, in the car and you need to sanitize before eating or greeting someone with a hand, uh, handshake. In the hospital, I think most hospitals have sanitizer mm -hmm. outside many patient rooms so the doctor can sanitize, mm -hmm. but um, doctors and nurses are, are also trained and educated to wash their hands, so they both have an important role. Okay. And today I wanted just to emphasize the difference. Okay. Uh, hand washing removes germs and the hand sanitizer, which is relatively safe, mm -hmm. it kills with alcohol. It's a very different chemical compound. Okay, and if by any chance you do buy antibacterial soap, make sure to look at the active ingredient, which is on the top, and not the inactive ingredient, because when I went to go buy this to try to find it, I kept looking at inactive ingredients, and I couldn't find this chemical agent, so make sure that right. you look at that. And is there a difference when it comes to name brands with the, the hand sanitizers? I know that we have you know, the Germ Blaster, we have Germex. So there's no difference on that. Um, by my inspection, if it's a sanitizer, then it's usually a, a alcohol-based disinfectant. It's in a gel, and um, hopefully it has some um, skin moisturizers and maybe perfume to make mm -hmm. it more pleasant. Um, hand soap is is just for washing, and okay. again, it, it contains um, detergents for like washing your clothes, washing okay. your dishes. Okay, and um, does any fragrances have any effect on, you know, it? Right, I, now these, these contain lots of chemicals. I'm not saying all these chemicals are safe. I presume they're safe enough. They make them to be pretty, they smell good, and I like that. And I brought these for you to keep. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'll make sure to wash my hands. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for coming You're welcome. On. And we'll post all the information on our website at heartlandconnection.com. Make sure to click on the Neighborhood tab and the Good Morning Heartland tab on top of that. Now here's...